This next topic is loci. Thus that means the locus of a point or the path traced by a point. This is the first question here. Draw the locus of a point B. This is B here as it moves in a horizontal direction. So as me, B moves in a horizontal direction, draw the path that it would make. So that has to be a horizontal line. So we'll draw a horizontal line from B. That's the path traced by point B as it moves horizontally. It could also be in the opposite direction. That line there is the path taken by point B as it moves in a horizontal direction. So I'll just put an arrow on here to indicate that it could continue on. That's the answer to that question. Now the next question here is draw the locus of point A as it moves in a vertical direction. So we have point A here. So we draw a vertical line through A and that answers that question. That's the path traced by point A as it moves in a vertical direction. This next question here is draw the locus of a point E, that's E in the centre there, as it moves equal distance from point C and D. So E is in the centre between C and and D. So if uh, each point has to be the same distance from C as it is from D. So we set the compass to a measurement here and we'll draw an arc. Now that's the distance from D. Now do the same the other side. So we have found two points now that's the same distance from D as it is from C. And this point is the same distance from D as it is from C. So there are two points on the line that we're looking for. Set the compass again to any measurement. Do the same again. And now we have another point. So we can continue that for as often as we want to. But in this case, the path that's traced by this is going to be a straight line. Now we'll join up the points to get the path that was traced by point E and that's it complete. So E stays equal distance from C and D and that's your first lesson on low C complete.